It's like something out of Harry Potter, an invisibility cloak that makes people and objects disappear from view, able to hide in plain sight. They announced this week that they are a step closer to creating a real invisibility cloak. In a blinding flash of innovation, China has unleashed a groundbreaking revelation that sent shockwaves rippling through the military landscape like a seismic tremor. A stealthy invisibility suit that's as elusive as a ghost, with the potential to redefine the face of modern warfare. This revolutionary breakthrough has left the United States reeling in stunned disbelief. Scientists have found a way to not only hide objects, but make entire events invisible. Imagine what this could mean. Boasting capabilities that hide soldiers, weapons, and even vehicles from visibility. Will the United States and top world militaries be able to catch up with China's pace? Join us as we uncover the first Chinese military invisibility suit. We really can hide objects. You can just switch for a short moment and make it disappear. The innovative quantum stealth. From Athena's cap of invisibility to Harry Potter, the notion of making oneself invisible has always tickled human fantasy. Incredibly, technological advancements over the last few years have brought these fantasies into the real world. But, is it even possible to disappear? How would you feel if you are told that an invisibility cloak exists in real life too? Well, it doesn't matter how you feel as it has been made possible by a Canadian company. Before we delve into that, let us first understand what happens when an object is exposed to light. When any object is exposed to light under normal conditions, the typical response is either absorption or reflection of light. If the light is absorbed, any background light and signals will be blocked, alerting you to the presence of the object. This indicates that the object will be visible. If the light is reflected, whatever signal you send out will be returned to you, highlighting the object and allowing you to see it. So, the bottom line is, light must interact with the object for it to be visible. The latest invisible tech, called Quantum Stealth, has been developed by Hyperstealth, a Canadian camouflage design company. The material is as thin as paper, inexpensive, and requires no power source. While it doesn't work quite as well as a magical cloak, it does a pretty good job of concealing and is certainly confusing to look at. Until you can identify what the target is, you can't shoot at it. But if I'm using this material and watching you, I have all the time in the world. Figure out where you are, what the threat might be, are there others of you? The material uses an approach that you might already be familiar with. Lenticular lenses. If you have seen one of those pictures that appears 3D depending on how you look at it, you have seen this tech. In a similar manner, the material can bend light in a way that means only things very close or very far away can be seen. So, an object or person placed behind, it at a certain distance will become invisible. The material has quite the broadband capability, and is able to bend light from mid and near ultraviolet to the infrared. Given the lower resolution of cameras that work outside the visible light spectrum, the effect becomes a lot more pronounced and remarkable when the material is viewed through them. The material is not affected by the colors of what it's trying to conceal, but it does distort the background. So it's not a magical invisibility cloak. People will know that something is hidden behind it, they just won't be able to discern the details of what it is. The technology started being developed by Hyperstealth's Guy Kramer in 2010, and since then he's been working with military organizations to get it developed. He recently filed four patents on this and related technologies, and published a series of videos on how it works. While the details are obviously under wraps, the physics is surprisingly straightforward. I don't have the ability to manufacture, nor did I want to go to a manufacturer to get them to build this special material. If I disclose too much, perhaps they may have talked to someone, I just couldn't risk it. The principle is known as Snell's Law. Every material has a specific refractive index, a quantity related to the speed of light in that material compared to the speed of light in a vacuum. You can see the effect easily. Get a glass of water and put a spoon in it. It will appear bent. The same effect makes pools appear shallower than they are. When light moves between two materials, the angle at which it is moving will change depending on the refractive index. So by being clever with materials, it is possible to construct something that has a blind spot. 
and that's where the invisibility happens. Unless you walked right into them, you wouldn't know that they were there. The material doesn't require batteries, projectors, or cameras. It is also inexpensive and lightweight, according to Hyperstealth's website. For security reasons, the company will not provide public demonstrations, only mock-up photos. But Kramer said groups within the United States military and Canadian military have seen the technology and can back up his claims. Kramer described the material's incredible value to soldiers who carry out operations during the day, or those who are trying to evade their enemy. Beyond that, the technology could have use on a larger scale, on submarines, tanks, or aircraft, for example. News of an invisible Canadian army capable of moving undetected has sent shockwaves through enemy ranks, eliciting a devastating psychological impact. The mere prospect of being targeted or surrounded by an unseen force has left adversaries reeling. The daunting question on everyone's lips is, how can you strike a target that remains invisible? Moreover, how can you defend against an enemy that seems to strike from thin air? The specter of this invisible army has unleashed a wave of uncertainty leaving foes grappling with the unsettling feeling of being perpetually vulnerable. Kramer and his grandfather began the research company in 1999, according to The Globe and Mail. In 2002, Kramer saw the Canadian Forces' updated camouflage, deemed it a waste of taxpayer money, and uploaded his own creations to the internet, sparking interest in his designs. This is something they could actually fold up in their pocket, or they could actually make it into their uniform. It doesn't use cameras, it doesn't use mirrors, and there's no instruction manual for it. Put it on and it works. The company has since developed an impressive portfolio of projects across many countries, but quantum stealth really catches the eye, so to speak. Do you know who else this stealth technology has caught their eyes? The Chinese, you guessed right. Chinese military suits. It doesn't matter what it is. Aircraft superiority, ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles. Even if it's just a vest, as long as it gives the Chinese an edge over the United States military, the Chinese will queue for it. So it was no surprise when Chinese scientists claimed to have achieved a remarkable fusion of myth and science by unveiling a groundbreaking hybrid material purported to bring the invisibility cloak concept to life. Drawing inspiration from the mythical Chimera and the unique attributes of three cold-blooded creatures, the Chameleon, Glass Frog, and Bearded Dragon, the researchers have made significant strides in material innovation, according to claims in Chinese media. This material, named Chimera Metamaterial, holds the potential to transform both military stealth technology and wildlife conservation efforts. The Hong Kong-based SCMP first reported on the development of the Chimera Metamaterial which aims to overcome the limitations of existing camouflage technologies by adapting to various terrains and spectral conditions. The scientists have designed an experimental version based on each animal's distinct natural survival strategy. This version could be undetectable across microwave, visible light, and infrared spectra, according to the report. The research team's bionics-inspired approach marks a major stride in metamaterial applications. It leverages the electromagnetic wave manipulation capabilities of these synthetic constructs. This renders objects undetectable to radar. Their work revolutionizes camouflage technology, transitioning it from constrained scenarios to dynamic terrains, marking a significant breakthrough in the development of reconfigurable electromagnetics. These next-generation technologies can adapt and modify circuit topologies to seamlessly blend into ever-changing environments, paving the way for unprecedented capabilities in stealth and surveillance. As stated, metamaterials, through manipulation of their surface structures, acquire the capacity to intricately reflect electromagnetic waves, thus proficiently cloaking objects from radar detection. However, their predetermined functionalities limit their effectiveness in diverse environmental settings. Chinese scientists conceived a metamaterial with the versatility to adjust to diverse spectral conditions and terrains. Remarkably, this metamaterial maintains its capability to elude detection from both visible and infrared light sources. Chimera's innovation presents promising prospects for military utilization, offering strategic advantages. By facilitating seamless blending into diverse environments, Chimera enables objects or personnel to evade detection by radars, infrared detectors, and optical devices. 
This capability could enhance military operations and maintain a tactical edge in various scenarios. Even amid the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict, both sides have asserted notable progress in developing camouflage suits to counter the thermal imaging equipment used by their adversaries. On January 24, 2023, Hyder X, a Russian company, announced the development of a new camouflage suit designed to manipulate the ambient temperature surrounding the wearer. This innovation aims to render Russian servicemen practically invisible to thermal imaging devices employed by enemy forces. Similarly, Ukraine made comparable claims last year regarding the creation of an invisibility cloak to protect Ukrainian soldiers from Russian thermal imaging technology. Central to China's innovation is the concept of adaptability, with the envisioned metamaterial, dubbed Chimera, in homage to the mythical creature, poised to seamlessly blend into various spectral conditions and landscapes while thwarting visible and infrared surveillance. The researchers highlighted the remarkable versatility of the Chimera metasurface, which is capable of harmonizing with five distinct terrains across the frequency spectrum. The metamaterial's genesis lies in the chameleon's famed ability to alter skin pigmentation, mirrored in the chimera's capacity to modulate microwave reflections to match different environmental backdrops. The report added that the inspiration from the glass frog's natural transparency during slumber led to the incorporation of similar optical traits achieved through strategic placement of circuitry within layers of pet plastic and quartz glass. Addressing the challenge of thermal concealment, akin to the bearded dragon's thermoregulatory prowess, the researchers devised a mechanism to minimize temperature differentials, which rendered the chimera virtually invisible to infrared detection methods. Through meticulous development stages involving patterned plastic substrates, metal mesh formations, and precise assembly techniques, an experimental iteration of the Chimera metamaterial demonstrated its multifaceted stealth capabilities. The potential applications of this technology are vast and varied, spanning from military operations, where it could provide significant strategic advantages, to wildlife conservation, where it could facilitate non-invasive observation of animals in their natural habitats. The SCMP report suggests that by mitigating human interference in ecosystems, Chimera stands poised to bolster conservation initiatives and offer a glimpse into a future where the boundaries between science and nature blur in pursuit of mutual symbiosis. Nonetheless, military forces continuously push innovation boundaries in cutting-edge camouflage technologies. Countries like the US and Israel are also engaged in research and development to create diverse invisibility cloaks capable of concealing soldiers, vehicles, tanks, and aircraft from various identification methods. Despite these advancements, a flawless design that can render troops completely invisible in battle has yet to emerge, but I really don't think that would stop these powerhouses from trying to edge out each other. Invisibility could be key to invincibility. Invisibility technology has always been a subject of fascination for humans. Its potential applications range from military stealth to surveillance, and from medical imaging to fashion. Although invisibility technology is still in its infancy, the military is already using it to develop new ways of fighting wars. Invisibility technology can help hide soldiers, vehicles, and even entire buildings from the enemy's view, making them virtually invisible. This technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we fight wars, and it is already being used in some capacity by several military organizations around the world. The military is one of the biggest investors in invisibility technology. The applications of this technology in the military are immense. Invisibility technology can help soldiers remain undetected by the enemy, making them less vulnerable to attacks. It can also help hide vehicles and aircraft from radar detection, making them invisible to enemy missiles. This technology can also help camouflage buildings and military installations, making them invisible to enemy satellites. The current status of invisibility technology in the military is still in its early stages. However, some military organizations have already developed prototypes of invisibility cloaks and other related technologies. For example, the United States Army has developed an adaptive camouflage system that can change color and texture to match the surroundings, a major advantage for a sniper trying to stay hidden while he waits to take out his targets. Similarly, the Chinese military has developed an invisibility cloak that can hide objects from view by bending light around them. The future possibilities of invisibility technology in the military are immense. 
that with further advancements in technology, it may be possible to create true invisibility cloaks that can make soldiers and vehicles completely invisible. This technology can also help create new ways of fighting wars, such as using invisible drones or robots to carry out missions in hostile environments. Although invisibility technology has many potential benefits, it also raises ethical concerns. For example, the use of invisibility technology can make it easier for soldiers to carry out assassinations or other covert operations without being detected. This can make it difficult to hold them accountable for their actions. Additionally, the use of invisibility technology can make it difficult to distinguish between civilians and combatants, leading to more civilian casualties. Invisibility technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we fight wars. However, it also raises ethical concerns and must be used with caution. The military's use of invisibility technology is still in its early stages, but it is clear that this technology will play an increasingly important role in future warfare. A major breakthrough, the Invisibility Shield 2.0. Following the successful development of functional invisibility shields in 2022, United Kingdom-based Invisibility Shield Cooperation has launched its second-generation Invisibility Shields on Kickstarter. Among the products is the Mega Shield, claiming to be the largest shield ever created. Over four years, the team focused on refining optical technologies to render people and objects invisible in broad daylight. The new shields prioritize convenience, featuring a compact design that collapses to 1 30th of their assembled size, facilitating easy transport. Available in three sizes, mini at 8 inches tall, full size at 3 feet tall, and mega shield standing over 6 feet tall. The latter can conceal multiple individuals standing side by side. The larger models boast ergonomic handles for easy carrying and are freestanding, providing versatility in usage. Furthermore, each unit is fully waterproof, battery-free, and constructed from 100% recyclable materials. The first invisibility cloak was created in 2006 by British scientist John Pendry. It consisted of a material that could bend microwaves but not visible light, around a tiny, 2D object measuring just a couple of micrometers, making it look like they had traveled straight and never touched the object. Since then, better versions that work for other wavelengths in both two and three dimensions have been created. The team achieved its goal of bringing fictional superpowers to reality through ultra-large precision-engineered lens arrays. These arrays, forming the shield's face, redirect light bouncing off the person behind the shield away from the observer, rendering them invisible. The lens's configuration causes background light from either side of the shield to spread over its face and be directed towards the observer, effectively cloaking what is behind it. Designer Tristan Thompson emphasized the team's motivation, highlighting their enthusiasm for the project. The possibilities, he noted, are endless. But what drives them is the sheer fun of creating something innovative and exciting. The team aimed to push the boundaries of this technology, achieving what was deemed impossible just two years prior a functional invisibility shield that can be easily deployed and transported. The second generation invisibility shields are available at around $70. The shield was tested through various lens shapes, profiles, angles, and separation distances. After development, the results are impressive because invisibility is achieved. The structure of this metamaterial is an array of lenses much like the cylindrical lens shown below. These lenses are basic convex lenses used in varying applications, from laser focusing to clarifying the image of a telescope. These lenses are extruded such that they become a long rod with one flat edge and one curved side. These rods create an array of one rod right next to another, while vertically oriented. As mentioned before, the invisibility shield is really a metamaterial. A metamaterial is an engineered material, which has properties not found in naturally occurring materials. In this case, the metamaterial produces an array of focal points in front of itself. The array diffuses light from directly behind, the shield. This effectively replaces the image of what one would expect to be directly behind the shield. The subject's image gets replaced with background surroundings. Metamaterials have been around since the turn of the 19th century. They have been utilized in a variety of applications such as antennas, sound filters, and even as seismic protections. 
One notable branch of this technology is negative refraction index, metamaterials. The notability of this branch comes from the new behavior, seen in unorthodox interactions with light. The downside? It only works for light at 730 nanometer wavelengths, which is visible light near the infrared part of the spectrum. While this could be useful to hide things from for specific devices, such as radar, it would have to be improved to scatter lights from all wavelengths on the visible spectrum to be able to hide from the human eye. While we are still some way away from doing this, the developers are getting closer. The cloak hides objects by wrapping them in layers of gold nano antennas, only 80 nanometers thick. The antennas in the cloak manipulate the light as it hits the object in a way that makes it look like it's bouncing off a flat surface instead, making it impossible to see the geometry of the object. The technology of invisibility cloaking has many potential uses, ranging from military applications to biomedicine, computing and even energy harvesting. For example, it could be used to render an aircraft invisible from radar. Stealth aircraft, which have been built to avoid detection by radar, are thought to have first been produced in Germany during World War II and use a number of technologies that reduce reflection and emission of light. The cloak can be also used to isolate closely placed antennas, which eventually reduces the footprint of antenna arrays and makes future communication systems extra compact. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom Quest project, led by Queen Mary from the University of London to come up with new ways to manipulate electromagnetic fields, has challenged the fundamental physics of thin absorbers, which can dissipate unwanted incoming waves by combining graphene with metamaterials to develop stealthy wallpapers to create wireless secure environments, reduce the interference of handheld devices, and reuse the radio to increase mobile communication capacity. With so many important applications, it is surely just a matter of time before the cloaks get better and more practical. With the help of ever-emerging advanced manufacturing tools, 10 years on, the future of invisibility is coming into view. A concealment mirror to hide behind. In 2013, the University of Rochester produced a short video demonstrating how one possible optical cloaking device could completely hide something from view. While this may at first appear to be something out of science fiction, this setup is actually simpler than you might imagine. As is the case with all cloaking devices, it works by ensuring that the light rays that hit your eyes will completely bypass the object being hidden. As a result, it appears that there is nothing in sight. In the case of this video, it appears as though light passes directly through a pane of glass. Assuming a small child is hiding behind a series of angled mirrors that work together to create an optical illusion, anyone looking at the wall head-on would be unable to see anything that is in that region. Optical cloaking using lenses works by using the same basic concept as when mirrors were used, but with a small difference. Instead of manually directing the light rays with a series of mirrors, this form of optical cloaking takes advantage of lenses' natural focal lengths to create naturally hidden regions. In these devices, whole objects can be concealed even when an observer looks directly at them. While mirror cloaks physically obscure them, there are multiple large regions that can be used to hide objects because light rays simply do not pass through that region, so there would be no way for an observer to know that they were there. Of course, it's still a long way to cloaking tanks on a battlefield. For starters, the thing being hidden has to hide behind a mirror, and the presence of a mirror would be a giveaway. A practical cloaking device also would have to adjust in real time to changing configurations of the object behind it. A variation of the method might be used to bend light around an object, the researchers suggested, and a light-bending device could be made much larger by using technology that stamps or molds nanoscale patterns onto a surface. Such refraction control might also be used in reverse, they added, to concentrate light in a small area to efficiently collect solar energy. At the core of the technology lies the manipulation of light, with the team dictating its trajectory and behavior. This fundamental concept is the driving force behind the innovation, according to Carl Poitras, a research associate on the Cornell team. Mercedes F-Cell, the invisible car. Mercedes has also joined in on the invisibility quest as it took a rather unique approach to the marketing of its latest F-Cell vehicle, making it invisible to the general public. The new fuel cell car produces zero emissions, meaning it's invisible to the environment, and Mercedes emphasized this by placing hundreds of individual LEDs across one side of the vehicle while mounting a Canon 5D Mark II camera on the opposite side. The result might look like the latest high-tech cloaking technology. Here, morph 
interesting things about the technology inside and also why they have combined the fuel cell and the electric uh, motor because this is actually the most interesting part. But it simply creates a real-time camouflage effect wherever the F-cell is located. The cars only emit water vapor after burning hydrogen fuel, but most manufacturers are still testing the technology. If you also want a military-style cloaked vehicle, then we have a feeling you'll also be waiting a while for one of those too. But could this be a game changer for military operations? The military is constantly seeking innovative solutions to enhance its capabilities. So, the world's biggest forces like the United States and China would have been left thinking what could be with the breakthrough of the Mercedes-Benz F-cell vehicle, a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle that offers a plethora of advantages for military applications. The F-cell vehicle's zero emission technology makes it an attractive asset for covert operations. This is a battery we also regularly use in the GIST in the S-Class, which we have shown here also, so it's our latest and greatest um, battery. With only water vapor and heat as exhaust, it provides a significant advantage in stealth missions, where minimizing emissions is crucial. The electric motor's quiet and near invisibility could enable military personnel to conduct operations without detection, a critical factor in combat situations. This feature allows for clandestine maneuvers, reconnaissance, and special operations without being detected by enemy forces. F-cell vehicles boast an extended range compared to traditional battery electric vehicles, making them suitable for prolonged military operations. This feature enables troops to conduct missions over long distances without worrying about running out of power. But the Chinese aren't wasting time waiting around. China tests stealth invisibility cloaks on regular fighter jets. Military experiments with metamaterials designed to fool radars with wave-bending powers. But observers say there's still a long way to go before the technology is ready for the battlefield. Is it a tank or is it a car? China and the United States are in a race to develop new cloaking technology to hide their military technology from each other's spying eyes. Quantum invisibility. When someone hears this term, they instantly think of science fiction. But we are living in an era where yesterday's science fiction is quickly becoming science fact. Quantum invisibility is derived from an exotic metal known as a metamaterial. And whichever country or company can develop this technology first will have immense strategic advantages over the rest of the world's countries. According to Britannica, metamaterial is an artificially structured material that exhibits extraordinary electromagnetic properties not available or not easily obtainable in nature. Currently, the United States and China are racing each other for dominance in the vital metamaterial market. Even though the United States has invested in this technology longer than China, the Chinese are applying it in the real world. In fact, there is ample evidence to suggest that China may have leapfrogged the Americans, thanks to a combination of sly industrial espionage and copious investments in state-funded research and development of the technology. As the next decade of the turbulent 21st century unfolds, these futuristic sounding technologies are at the heart of the ongoing, often deadly, shadowy technology war raging across the world between the United States and China. Whichever side wins this tech race wins the future. Into this unfolding saga enters the Chinese entrepreneur, Ropeng Liu. A man dubbed China's Elon Musk, Liu is one example of China's rapaciousness when it comes to developing its supremacy over the Americans in the creation of metamaterials. News reports from inside China have boasted of a new stealth technology that will bend light around an object to conceal its presence or even change its form. And they insist the method is legitimate. The South China Morning Post reports, the Chinese army has funded at least 40 research teams over the past three years to develop the idea. The teams involved include researchers at Tsinghua University and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The researchers, working on this groundbreaking project, referred to themselves as invisible people studying invisible technology, a nod to the innovative and clandestine nature of their work. Arms developers such as BAE Systems acknowledge work on this kind of technology, which aims to hide armored vehicles. Mike Sweeney, a spokesman for BAE, revealed that the United States military is among the various parties that have expressed interest in adaptive a technology with potential applications beyond armored vehicles, such as ships and helicopters. BAE's technology deploys sheets of hexagonal pixels that can change temperature very rapidly. 
onboard cameras pick up the scenery and display it on the vehicle, which can allow a moving tank to match its surroundings. It can also be adapted to change the infrared look of the tank to that of a normal car. The Chinese appear to be focusing on invisibility in the visible spectrum. The South China Morning Post reported that the main approaches to creating invisibility technology involve developing materials that guide light away from an object, generating electromagnetic fields to bend light around an object, and mimicking nature to create advanced camouflage materials. One technique has been demonstrated by Professor Chen Hongsheng at Zhejiang University, who once released a video of a fish and cat appearing to be made invisible. Early forms of the technology are already concealing equipment from electronic eyes. Professor Ma Yunghui has been approached by numerous individuals inquiring about the potential application of his technology to military aircraft, specifically to evade heat-seeking missiles. While he considers it a possibility, he estimates a 40% chance of successfully developing the world's first invisibility cloak. However, Thomas Wei, an associate professor of computing science at Villanova University, is skeptical about the term invisibility cloak. He emphasizes that stealth aircraft already exist, which are invisible to radar, but it is physically impossible to make an object invisible to the naked eye. He believes that any claims suggesting otherwise are likely a hoax. China is already testing an invisibility cloak on non-stealth military jets to help them evade radar detection, according to scientists involved in the project. If successful, the technology could quickly boost the combat strength of the jets, the researchers say. But others say the technology was difficult to mass produce, limited to a small range of radar bandwidths, and would need to be combined with other devices to be truly effective. A team of Chinese military researchers said that they have developed an invisibility cloak that can hide ground military targets from spy radar satellites. Hiding objects from advanced military radars is difficult because they can detect weapons or infrastructure that are invisible to normal cameras and can identify items no bigger than a shoebox from space. Unlike a telescope satellite that works only in daytime, radar satellites can also produce crystal clear photos at night. The new device, produced by a team at the Air Force Engineering University in Xi'an, Shanxi Province, is a piece of cloth that can be stretched to fit almost perfectly over a wide range of different items such as tanks, artillery, or radar stations. The Chinese aren't messing about not slowing down. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.